Welcome to the age of collaboration. I'm sure you've heard someone from a random industrial sector saying that phrase. Yep, everywhere people keep harping on and on about the so-called age of collaboration. Driven by advancement in cyber technology, this collaboration, they say, can solve every problem under the sun from healthcare facility supply to waste management and climate change. The technology, so they say, will accelerate cross-sector collaborations, so not to mention the public-private partnership, PPP, or the so-called tripartite system involving industry, government, and academia. Skepticism about this collaboration thing can be justified. For one, different industrial sectors, not to mention the PPP or tripartite system, can be very difficult to achieve given the different logic of each sector. A core part of this collaboration is data and information sharing. How can these different domains accomplish this when they store different information each in their own servers, using different apps and programs? Well, here, here. At least the centralized blockchain technology seeks to overcome the big hurdles which often make cross-sectoral collaboration difficult. So currently, there are blockchain platforms which are developed to facilitate the so-called multi-party systems. Are you curious how the platforms can be used to encourage the multi-party collaborations? Further, what problems can they solve by enabling different sectors to effectively coordinate with each other? In this new episode of our talk show, our colleague Adela Negara will help us to better understand the possible use cases of blockchain in multi-party systems. So Adela, um, can you please illustrate how multi-party systems work in this blockchain technology? So these industrial sectors are being grouped together under certain silos to make the administrative and jurisdiction matter easier. Undeniably, uh, the activities of this sector overlap with one another. For instance, the food and the beverage sector are closely related to and dependent on each other. Also, when we talk about multi-party system, uh, it also goes beyond the corporate and the private sector, but obviously involves the public sector. Uh, think about public uh, private partnership scheme applied in infrastructure project. For instance, in public health uh, emergency cases such as the COVID-19 pandemic. So, what are the advantages of the centralized blockchain infrastructure in accelerating data and information flow among these different parties? So, due to a different uh, technological constraint, mm -hmm. these uh, different sectors use different computer programs mm -hmm. and applications to keep track of specific operational activities such as raw ingredient sourcing, uh, you know, processing, etc. This prevents the data and information flow and because of this, intersectoral collaboration becomes less efficient. This has caused significantly a uh, big problem during emergency situations such as the case of resource uh, security. Currently, the peer-to-peer -peer network application and blockchain offer a great solution to you know, manage activities and transaction data and information uh, flow of this multi-party system because it does not rely on uh, one single central source of power. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, the peer-to-peer -peer network app also help stakeholder break the data silos because uh, that happened by the use of different apps or a computer program mm -hmm. is allowing parties to communicate rapidly among each other so you mentioned an emergency scenario right yeah. so like how the p2p network app can solve this problem in the nick of time so uh, this advantage also worked well in multi-party emergency scenario. Say uh, during a new uh, particular nasty wave of COVID-19 pandemic outbreak of, you know, like echo, variant, whatever, or a patient need to be transferred to a hospital, yet most of it hospital are mostly fully occupied by oxygen supplies leaking. Mm -hmm. The multi-party blockchain application can help the oxygen manufacturers health agencies and hospital to coordinate together and automatically based on how different supply demand information is being a match. Mm -hmm. This result in the patient being wheeled away to an available hospital with adequate oxygen supply mm -hmm. uh, with shorter lag time between emergency situation and their corresponding age. So hopefully more 
uh, people can be safe. This is also spare family members and a relative the highly stressful, uh, you know, like situation, phone calls and numerous hospital and oxygen uh, supplier to find help for their loved ones. Mm -hmm. So what are the current use cases of decentralized blockchain in multi-party systems? So thankfully, uh, this scenario right and above is merely a projection on how the blockchain technology can be used to manage multi-party system. Mm -hmm. uh, some private and public institu institutions have begun to adopt the technology to coordinate traceability of the COVID-19 infection. Many uh, permanent tech uh, companies have also included blockchain in their business portfolio. The famous one is IBM, but mm -hmm. for example, blockchain is used to managing the multi-party system can be seen in COVID-19 vaccine track, uh, tracking activities in Europe in order to travel or even go to public places like restaurants, cafes, people need to show their vaccine certificate. And thankfully, uh, instead of carrying physical documents of, uh, around to get travel permit, which can be very difficult, right? No matter how small they are, the blockchain system allows individual to simply scan QR code in these public spaces with their smartphone, where information from their, uh, you know, vaccine certificate can be taken off, chained using some digital signature to be used by the management of these public spaces. So the information and data store and distributed over the peer-to-peer -peer network can also re uh, readily uh, be used for contact tracking purposes. So yet yeah, there are some security and privacy issues related to this decentralized blockchain um, to manage multi-party systems, right? So like, brief us um, on the security and privacy con concerns. Uh, like what I say all the time that there's no such thing as perfectly secure system mm -hmm. and it includes blockchain application. Thankfully, uh, the blockchain smart contract developer have already improved how the system work in the realm of data security and privacy. It has some features which can distinguish some confidential uh, element of these documents to ensure that only the serving and real parties that have, uh, can have access to this document. Thank you for watching this video. So after listening to Adela talking, can you picture in your mind what would be for other emergency scenarios which can be solved using this blockchain multi-party systems? Write down your scenarios in the comment section below. We'd love to hear what you think. Also for more videos about blockchain technology, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Blockchain Zoo.